But I do want to share with you my heart and the vision for this ministry afresh this evening. I had no idea whatsoever in the spring of 1992 what God had in mind when he told me to draw together a small handful of pastors and get to know each other and care for each other. All I knew was I was a lonely pastor. I was 20 years into pastoring this church, but there are very few people who knew the depth of my heart, and I needed somebody that I could be open and honest with. And that first uh, support group became those other four guys. Eleven years later, when I stepped down as the senior pastor of this church to begin Barnabas Ministries as an official 501c3, I had five groups of pastors that I was working with. Now we jump forward 12 years later to today. And there are 62 pastoral support groups we know of. That, and we are working in seven regions in nine states. That's God's doing. A few years ago, Pat Gelsinger, who was then the president and COO of EMC Corporation and I, would get together periodically for breakfast. And on one occasion, I asked Pat, I said, Pat, would you help me think through how to move this ministry forward? And he said, well, first, ask yourself this question. What would Barnabas Ministries look like if it were 10 times larger than it is right now? That kind of made me gulp, but I listened. And he said, then, once, you, once you've answered that, then ask yourself, what is it going to take to get from where you are to where you want to be? And then start working the program. And so here we are this evening, having been working that program for several years now, and we're at the place in this ministry where the growth has been so significant that we need now to add another staff member. And that staff member's title or job description is going to be Group Development Director. We need someone to help us keep focused on the point, the whole purpose for this ministry being what it is, and that is to draw pastors together in support groups wherever God leads and enables that individual is going to uh, be responsible, not alone, but leading us to develop groups everywhere that God opens doors, build regions within those groups, raise up and train regional directors. In addition, that individual will work with the present structure we have, our regional directors, uh, the groups we have and so forth to help us continue to strengthen and deepen what we have going on because we believe we really believe God is going to take this to unimaginable places. Just a little drop in the bucket of it. It's operating in Uganda now. I work with a pastor called Paul Jadudu, and he's using our materials and so forth in Kampala, Uganda, to work with pastors doing that. Now, the opportunities that are before us, the doors that are open, are far greater than the resources we have. And therefore, the board and I have made a bold faith decision. We are now in the process of doing a search for that group development director. And as soon as we find that person, going through the interview process and so forth, we will bring that individual on the staff. Now, I've had the wonderful privilege of being the founder of this ministry, the one to whom God gave the vision originally, and I've watched this go and grow for 13 years. This is all I've been doing. And the board and I now have come to another realization. We need, in order to go further, to bring on board a new executive director. Now, I'm not going to disappear because you're not going to get rid of me that easily. <laughs> all right. After all, uh, 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 the new executive director might even be present here. We, we're in the process of, of interviewing for that individual as well. And I would say I'm not going to be in that person's hair, but as chairman of the board, 
I will be available to that individual in whatever way he and I think works best. You see, Barnabas Ministries is the first of its kind of ministries for pastors. I've traveled the country. Uh, and have spoken to pastors in different places. The one that I thought had the greatest thing going for all the pastors together was uh, the wonderful city of, uh, uh, of uh, Colorado Springs, Colorado. And I went there to interview pastors because of a book I had read about what God was doing among the pastors there. And I was talking with the one pastor who was the key in that uh, ministry development, I asked him, tell me all you know about it. And he said, well, tell me what you're doing. And I did. And he said, you're way beyond us. You're way beyond us. So we've come to realize, yeah, God is doing something here. Uh, and we know that he wants it to go elsewhere. Now, I have a vision for this ministry. I've run with a vision from the very beginning, but the vision is much bigger than I had at the beginning. I didn't see this before. I have a vision now of seeing new uh, pastor support groups growing, multiplying all over New England. We've hardly scratched the surface in this six-state region. I see them growing everywhere. I see new regional directors coming into being. I see us having to form more regions within New England in order that we can work the way we want to, uh, networking those groups and so forth. But I also now see, and I didn't before, uh, see that God is moving it far out of New England. I see groups down in Florida. I see new groups coming into being. I see regional directors uh, coming into being in Florida. I see it down in the southwest. I see it in the far west. I see it in the northwest. I see it in the upper midwest as well as here in the northeast. I now see clearly what God is doing, and I'm, uh, I'm just going along for the ride, and I'm saying, lead us, Lord, where you want us to go. Then, as I look at that, I see pastors who are becoming stronger, more encouraged. They're networking with other pastors. They're they're able to break out of those shells that cause so many of us as pastors to isolate from one another. They're able increasingly to let their weaknesses be known, to be strong for one another, rallying themselves, rallying their churches together so that what was a first for us in Worcester, the second largest city in New England, is going to happen all over the nation. It really is, for one reason. Jesus prayed it in John 17, 23. Jesus prayed, Father, that they would be one in us as you and I are one, that they would be in complete unity so that the world will know that you sent me and you love them even as you love me. Now, to help you understand, to grasp the significance of that, let me ask you a question. Just answer it quietly within yourself. Let's just suppose for a moment that God the Father decided he was only going to answer one person's prayer of all the prayers that have ascended to him down to the ages, and all the prayers that are going up to the Father right now. I'm only going to answer one prayer. Whose prayer is he going to answer? That's a no-brainer, isn't it? He's going to answer his son's prayer. The prayer Jesus prayed, recorded for us four times in John 17, and so powerfully encapsulated in verse 23 is going to be answered. I have continued to pray to the Lord over the last many years. Father, let me live long enough to see it. I want to see some of it happening. Well, I saw it in Worcester this last summer. It was John 17, 23 pastors coming together in their groups, rallying other pastors in that city that caused that. My wife and I went there on that day, and I'm running around my little mobility scooter, and the tears are coming down my cheeks. I'm saying, I see it. I see it. It's happening. But that's only the beginning. The vision is so much bigger than that. So, let me ask you a question. Do you see the vision? Can you see, just think now for a moment, can you see, keep John 17, 23 in your mind. Keep it in your mind. Can you see the vision of pastors in various communities here and across America, let's dream big, across America, coming together in their communities setting aside the secondary differences, all committed to the heart of the gospel, 
supporting and encouraging each other and reaching out to the communities with the love of God and the good news of Jesus Christ. Can you see that? I can. I didn't used to be able to. There was a time as a young pastor I did not believe John chapter 17 could ever happen. I honestly didn't. I'd read it and say, no way, that can never happen because of all the division I could see. Ha, it's happening. See? Can you see churches coming together? Churches now, not just the pastors, but churches coming together and reaching out in their communities. Now they're going to do a lot of things on their own because they're local churches, but coming together as well, reaching out into their communities in novel ways. I don't have the time, or I could list you so many ways that God is using pastors and churches today coming together. But can you see it? Them coming together, taking time to labor together in their communities so that the love of God can be demonstrated and people in various ways can hear and encounter the love of Jesus Christ. I can. I can. So, a question for you. Uh, the board and I have made another decision. In order for us to continue to move forward with the vision God has given us, we, after careful study, and especially by one of our board members who specializes in this, we have agreed together that in order for us to move into 2016 in the way we believe God wants us to, we need to raise another $80,000 by the end of the year. Now, that's bold. That's bold. That's either fantasy or faith. It's one or the other. I'm trusting that it's faith. And God's going to do it, you see. He's going to do it because he's called us together. This is his heart. How are we going to do that? Well, only by faith and only by earnest, honest uh, surrendering of ourselves and asking God, what do you want me to do, Lord? And then going ahead to do it. See, we know we have a proven product. We've tested it. We have field tested it. We have been told by others, no one's doing it quite the way you're doing it. And we have graphs that we've taken of uh, surveys and evaluations in the past that show how well we're doing. And we're not doing the best. We've got a long ways to go. But we're doing it. We've got a proven product. And so we want to put it out there. Are you willing to walk with us in this? It's not by might nor by power, but my spirit, says the Lord God Almighty.